This chapter shows the easiest way to initially configure 10D or 30D amplifiers for DNB remote networks. Generally, every device within a DNB remote network needs to have a unique remote ID, which has to be set within the device. These initial settings are easy to configure via Ethernet, so let's take a look at how that works first. By factory default, Every 10D and 30D amplifier is configured to obtain an IP address automatically from a DHCP server. If no DHCP server is present on the network, the 10D will default to an IP address of 192.168.1.10, while the 30D will set itself to 192.168.1.30. Obviously, you computer's network settings also have to be set to compatible subnet mask and IP address values, like in the example shown here. Open a web browser and type in the amplifier's IP address. This will open the web remote screen for this amplifier. On the web remote screen, click the remote settings field and change the remote ID to the required value. Now would also be a good moment to change the IP settings of the amplifier if necessary. The default setting is automatic. If a manually assigned IP address is required, change the network settings appropriately. Please keep in mind, if the new network settings of the amplifier are incompatible with those of your computer, the connection to the amplifier will be lost. As soon as all amplifiers have been configured individually, they are ready to be connected to the network. Further configuration can now be done with the R1 remote control software. Should you need to reset the network settings of an amplifier to factory default, Switch on the device and wait for it to finish booting. Then press and hold the reset button on the rear panel for more than 5 seconds until the amplifier sounds a long beep. Release the button and briefly press it again. The amplifier will sound a short confirmation beep. This action will reset all network settings but no other parameters.